The list of Republicans bailing on Donald Trump is growing, threatening the Republican hold on Congress. Today, Senator Pat Toomey lashing out at Trump. And I've been openly very critical of policy positions that Donald Trump has taken. And other senators revoking their support for Trump in the aftermath of the vulgar video where the billionaire boasts about groping women. When Mr. Trump attacks women and demeans the women in our nation and in our society, that is a point where I just have to part company. A new poll finds Democrats holding a seven-point advantage when voters choose the party they want to control Congress. That's the largest edge Democrats have had in three years. To win back the Senate, Democrats need to pick up at least four seats, including the Wisconsin seat held by Republican Ron Johnson, who has distanced himself from Trump. Obviously, we've got two people to top the ticket, uh, flawed messengers for whichever side. And in the House, Democrats must pick up 30 seats to retake the majority. So they're doing everything they can to tie their GOP votes to Trump. Like in this new ad, targeting Miami area Congressman Carlos Curbelo. Carlos Curbelo shares Donald Trump's dangerous views. But Curbelo tells CNN he wants nothing to do with Trump. I'm not feeling better about the presidential campaign at all. It seems like every uh, discussion is about who to trust least and uh, who lies more, and so it's a shame. North Carolina Senator Richard Burr is running in one of the country's closest races, and he has concluded it makes sense to back Trump, despite the nominee's crude remarks about women. I don't think that this is something that we dwell on after somebody has asked for forgiveness. Privately, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell agreeing with Speaker Paul Ryan, advising his colleagues to run away from Trump if that'll help them politically. Publicly, even McConnell is keeping his distance. If you're interested in the presidential election, you might as well go ahead and leave because I don't have any observations to make about it.